movieweb.com. There is a, a physical dimension to the Lars that I was very curious about how you found that character because he's understated, he's having you know trouble expressing his emotions, but as far as the you know the blinking eyes, the you know the, the bottled up look that he has, how did you get to that point in uh, fleshing that out? Um, yeah, I think you know, look, he's, Lars is such a great character that I wish I wish everybody could play him in a way. I wish it was a play. And I could see all kinds of actors do it in a way, you know, you sort of feel like, you know, you hope you're doing the character justice. But it's just your take on it. You have a few months to prepare for a role and uh, you do the best that you can, you know. Um, all of those uh, things that you mentioned, the kind of physical, um, 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 his uh, you know, personality, were things that just kind of developed, you know. I don't know really how those things come. It's kind of the fun of, of the job is those things just happen. All right. Um, there is a, a sweetness to the story that caught me by surprise because the entire town kind of comes together and they really help Lars, you know, through this process by yeah. adopting the doll as a real person. And the whole time I was waiting, you know, for, for someone, some asshole to be like, yeah. Lars, you're delusional, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't happen. And that was very surprising. So was that what really endeared you to the script? Yeah, I think that the, I think that the script and Nancy as a writer, I think it's kind of a radical movie in the sense that it has like the guts to be nice <laughs> and to wear its heart on its sleeve and to be totally exposed um, you know it's not it's not cynical at all you know although and I but I do feel that it's realistic you know I think that uh, it's a matter of perception I think that in a situation like this where most of us would assume that things would go terribly awry uh, I, when I was reading the script I kept waiting for somebody to burst this bubble or something bad to happen to her and uh, you know, but th but it doesn't, and I think that that's possible. You know, and I think that that uh, Nancy, the writer, thought it was more interesting to explore what would happen if you walked into a place that you were afraid, like for a person who's afraid of being himself, which we all kind of are in some way. What happens if you walk into uh, a world of total acceptance? You know, how would you handle that? And uh, it's uh, it's an, it's an interesting concept. A uh, quick question about your, your choices in film. Uh, this, this character, Lars, is very different from anything that we've seen you do. I mean, we've seen you do some introspective characters before, you know, some violent characters. But here's a character that's totally sweet and good-natured. Yeah. And I, I was wondering, do you, do you find these roles more in the indie system? Or do you find that Hollywood has kind of given up on, like, a film like this? Um, well, I don't think that there are many films like this. You know, I think that... There aren't, th I mean, I think Nancy Oliver's a special writer, and I think that the m movies like this are rare because people like her are rare. So um, I don't know that this, to me, this doesn't fit inside the independent world or the Hollywood world. It's just sort of like its own thing. It's like uh, that movie Harvey with Jimmy Stewart. And like, that's a great movie, and we all love it, but there's never been anything like it again. I don't know why. It's just that these things are just, they're like genres unto themselves. Like the few Hal Ashby movies or something. 